Good morning and welcome to Nagatori Channel. My name is Steve Williams and here I am at the beautiful, wonderful resort of Hakuba Valley, Japan's largest ski area. At the moment I'm in Hapo-one, which is the centre of uh, Hakuba Valley, which stretches from Jigataki all the way to Cortina. And I'll name them for you, Jigataki, Kashimayari, Hakuba Eibu, Hakuba Goryu, Hakuba 47, Hakuba uh, Hapo-one, Hakube Wataki Snowfield, Sagaiki Kogen, Norikura, and Hakube Cortina. About 30 kilometers of mountains to ski on. Hakube was the uh, main place for the uh, 1998 Nagano Winter Games. And let's talk about how to get here. Well, the best ways to get here are the Nagano Snow Shuttle with direct uh, buses from Narita and uh, Haneda Airport, or Try the JR Pass. The JR Pass, you can come here by bullet train, Shinkansen, get here directly to Nagano, take the bus here, and then you're here. Nagatari. So here we are at the Hakuba Hapone Gondola base station. Now we're going to ride the gondola to the middle station of Hapone. So let's go. Okay, so here we are in the Hapone Adam Gondola. Hakuba Valley is home to four gondolas. The Hapo Gondola has the best views. You look down there, you can see the valley below. Beautiful powder morning. Looking forward to a ski. Okay, so now we're on the uh, Alpine Quad going up. You can see the beautiful uh, powder snow. I'm dying to get inside it. On the chairlift, we practice social distancing. So basically, you don't share a chairlift with people outside your bubble. In the lift line, try and keep your face mask covered over your nose and mouth. These are a few of the ways that we are activating against the uh, coronavirus. Okay, to the right of me is the uh, ladies downhill course from the 1998 Olympic Games. And to my left is the men's downhill from the 1998 Winter Olympics. This is where the famous uh, Herman Meyer the spectacular crash in that Olympics. Okay, this is the uh, timber course over here. So we're going to ski first, try and get some of that powder. This is the timber course. This was opened a few years ago. It's one of my favourite uh, runs on Hapone. It's full of powder. Let's go. Woo! Woo! Okay, so we just ski down timber course at the top there down to here and now we're at Usagi Daira which means rabbit flats but I've never seen a rabbit probably because they're white and there's so much snow you just won't see them anyway okay let's check out uh, these in course let's go Okay, so now we're going to tackle the easing course. This is the uh, perfectly groomed course. It's beautiful corduroy early in the morning. You see a lot of great skiers, a lot of fast skiers going down here. Okay, let's try it. Follow me. Okay, so now we're at Nakayama Snowland. This is a new area built specially for kids and those who want to make their ski debut. If you look around here, you will see we have striders and sleds and uh, bikes and, uh, oh, there's a kid coming down there now. And it's got its own purpose walkway. So, shall we try it once? Let's go. Okay, so I'm in the, uh, the tunnel, not the tunnel of love and I'm going to pretend to be an absolute beginner or after, after my first ski lesson. Okay, let's try it down the slope. So, if you're new to skiing and you want to practice some turns, licking turns together, this is the perfect place. Okay, so here at the uh, Hapone kitchen car area, this is my favourite place to, especially on a nice day like today, grab a hamburger from uh, Trax Bars, burgers, they're the best in town, sit outside and really enjoy, you know, the sunshine. And even better, sitting outside, social distancing, away from the coronavirus. What is it? This is a spicy sausage and a sausage potato with a jalapeno. 
Yeah. All right. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I try? Yeah, of course. Yeah. That's really good. <laughs> wow. Nagatari. So when you're in Hakuba, make sure you get the Hakuba Valley Pass. Then you can interchange between your ski areas during the day. So this morning, we're at Hakuba Hapone. Now, we're at Hakuba Snowfield. Great, 10 results in one day. Can you do it? Okay, so we've just taken the uh, Hakuba Valley bus from Hapone, and now we just arrived at Iwatake. Let's check Iwatake out. Let's go. Okay, so now we're at Iwatake Snowfield. And Iwatake Snowfield is very special in Hakuba. Why? Because it has, because you can ski all the points of the compass. North, east, south, and west. The west side has the back balls, which we're gonna try first. Let's go to the back balls. This is uh, Iwatake White Park. And it's the uh, top of Iwatake Mountain. You can sit here, relax, get yourself a tent. You've got your own little wood stove going. What a great location. After a few hours on the slopes, it's a great place to relax, rest, and just uh, chill out. Wow, what a beautiful day. Okay, so Iwataki Snowfield is not just about skiing, which is great, but also about this white park where you can come. You don't need to ski, you can walk around just in boots and just uh, relax, go camping, uh, have a snack and enjoy the mountain without the uh, skiing. So now we are walking over to Hakuba Mountain Harbour. It's a great name, it's the harbour on the mountain. It's famous for its uh, awesome views, great coffee at the city bakery and great snacks. Okay, now we're at the uh, Hakuba Mountain Harbour on the top of the uh, Iwataki Snowfield. It's a great view here, probably the best view in the town. And uh, some great coffee and some great snacks. Let's try them. After all that skiing, I'm feeling really hungry. So, I ordered plenty for myself. I ordered a hot chocolate, best hot chocolate in town. A Hakuba pork croissant sandwich. So this is uh, the pork from Hakuba. Oatmeal, oatmeal cookie and uh, a scone. So I'm from uh, England. Let's try it. Oh, that warms me up. Mmm, good pork and uh, a good sandwich. City Bakery is originally from uh, the States and it's uh, over to Japan, I think it's in Tokyo as well. But uh, here on the mountain with the best view in the, well, the best view in the world, it tastes even better. Iwatake Snowfield has four back balls. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. These are for experts only, but especially in the morning, these balls are the best in Hakuba. Why? Because they drop off to the uh, west, which is the only place in Hakuba where you can ski down to the west. Let's try some powder. We had a good day on the mountain. It's time to relax, it's time to uh, have a snack. So we headed over to uh, Snow Peak Land Station Akuba. In here, there is a great restaurant, there's a Snow Peak shop, it has the best views of Akuba. Look at these views here. So now we are here in the uh, Snow Peak Land Station Akuba restaurant Seppo. Seppo is a nice uh, play on words. All you, all you uh, Japanese speakers, Seppo actually means Yuki and Peak. Obviously, Snow Peak. It was a, I looked at the menu, it was a difficult choice, but uh, I decided to go for the, uh, uh, the Shinshu Alps beef uh, sirloin steak. So the good thing about uh, skiing is that you burn a lot of energy. So don't worry about the calories and uh, order what you want to order. First, I've got this salad, which uniquely, this is snow cabbage. So this cabbage is grown underneath the snow in Hakuba. In fact, all these ingredients is basically from Nagano and Hakuba. Now let's try this uh, snow cabbage. It's 
So what I skied on this morning, maybe on top of cabbages. Let's try it. Mmm. Very fresh. Obviously on the mountain you work up a thirst. The best way to quench your thirst is with uh, Hakuba Brewing Company's uh, Pale Ale. Brewed in Hakuba. That's really good. So basically, when the snow melts, they filter the water through and brew it right here in town. The uh, Shinshu, Shinshu was his Shinshu uh, sirloin beef, Wagyu. Now, Shinshu is the old name for Nagano. So basically, if you see anything with Shinshu, it means it's local and the best. Let's try it. Wow, that is very, very good. In fact, I said that every ingredient is from Nagano, but the salt is imported from uh, England. I don't know why, but uh, maybe England has good salt. Let's try the England salt. Mm. Oh, no. Japanese say oishi. That is uh, very, very oishi. We're here in Iwataki Snowfield at the base area. We've seen the sign, Haku Bounce. Let's go and check it out. Let's use some energy up. Hakuba Bouncing Trampoline Park. Here in the evening we'll have Ape, Apre Bounce, which, which is basically after skiing, come for a bounce, have a feed down here, come for a bounce, have some more fun. I'm here with uh, Johnny, the owner, Johnny. So Johnny, what type of customers uh, come here? Kids or adults? Oh, we get a great mix. We got some little kids. The little guys, they love it, as well as some high-performing athletes that come here to practice their tricks on our trampolines. Their tricks for snowboarding and skiing, um, parkour, anything. It all goes, it all works. Okay, we haven't got, a, we haven't got masks on at the moment, but uh, do you have a message? We haven't got masks on at the moment, but do you have any measures against the corona? Absolutely, so we take all precautions possible, so disinfecting multiple times throughout the day, opening the windows even in the winter so it does get very chilly. You might be able to see it from our breath. And also a big one is by limiting our capacity. So we definitely want to give people ample room to bounce without getting too close. Um, we don't want that proximity going on so we limit our numbers to 20 people per hour. And we are very strict about that. So um, please call in advance. What else? Obviously yes, masks are a big thing. Like Steve said, we're not doing masks right now but typically there will be masks on. Please, thank you. Okay, so let's have a bounce. <laughs> okay, Johnny, so what, what do we have here, skis? That's correct, these here are trampoline skis, specifically made for our trampolines here. Uh, here's a trampoline snowboard. These are what we use to practice our jumps here before taking them to the mountain. Okay, let's try then. Let's try the kids. Let's give it a look. Okay. The sun's gone down. It's getting dark now. We've had a great day in Hakuba. We went skiing. We had a great lunch. We went trampolining. Unbelievably great day. And basically, Hakuba has so many things to do. This is a sample of what you can do when you do visit Hakuba. So, where's your next ski trip going to be? Zetai Hakuba.